Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Stefania. Thank you so much for finding me here. I hope you're all having a beautiful week so far. I am sending you so much love and so much light. So as I mentioned, I briefly jumped back on my channel last week. I had been off for a little while. I was nursing uh, a pretty ugly uh, pneumonia problem, uh, but now I'm doing much better and I'm back on track uh, with everything. So let us just drop into the energy as we ask the Holy Spirit, ask the energy of the divine and the angels to drop in for this beautiful offering for the collective, this beautiful week for all of you, for your highest and greatest good. We open and surrender to receiving divine and holy guidance. And so it is. Speaking of holy and divine guidance, your higher soul holy guidance holy wisdom will always leave you feeling empowered it will never leave you feeling disempowered so when you're attached to the surface level of your thinking and you're overthinking and you're wondering and you're doubting and you're this and you're that you're not connecting in with your intuition you're not connecting in with that holy guidance you're attached to that part of yourself that's connected to, like I said, the surface level of your thinking, and you're not receiving that holy wisdom. We as human beings are wired to be connected to the divine, to the intuitive energy of the invisible and the creation of all that is. We've just been programmed in our conditioning to not pay attention to our sixth sense. But we all have the gift of intuition. It's just that we've been taught that it's you know, woo woo, but really it is our divine birthright. And so remember, holy wisdom, holy guidance, empowerment, surface level of our thinking where we're doubting, where we have anxiety, where we're not sure, that's disempowerment. So you want to drop in. That's why it's so important to connect, to develop and cultivate the connection with the spirit and the creation that is your soul so that you can connect with your intuition and let your soul guide you into the divinely ordained decisions for you, okay? As I was in meditation before um, the video, and you can know, you, you might be able to see if you've been following me that I have a little different setup. I have a microphone and my computer, and so I'm hoping the sound is gonna work. We're just asking for a divine flow and divine technology to come in and let it all just work out. Um, Oh, I, so I was seeing a, a woman. Now, this doesn't have to be gender specific. It just could be anyone. But And not, by the way, every message will resonate with everyone. So take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay, but it was definitely getting, and this is metaphorical in nature, a woman climbing up one of those rope ladders, like a rope, a ladder made of rope. And it was a really hard climb. She was really struggling to, um, to make it up the ladder. And so... This is a message for someone this week uh, about you've had a hard road. There's been a hard, you've been going through hard obstacles, really trying to rise to new heights, but it hasn't been easy. You know, sometimes we see other people and we think, wow, why did I have it so easy? And then you're like, you know, they think, and you think like they're skipping down that yellow brick road and then things are really hard for you <laughs> and you fall into that comparison trap. You remember, Everything is happening for you and we are the creators, we are the agents of our own creation. And so we're creating, we're, what we put out into the universe, it comes back onto us a hundredfold. So it's really important to cultivate that deep self-awareness, the connection to our journey to understand and learn from all the things that we've been through. So I definitely, that message about the ladder is that you're, you're close to the top, like you are close to getting to the top of that ladder. That's the message that I was getting. And so as an intuitive spiritual teacher, I connect with my intuition. I've been meditating for 30 years or more. And so my connection to the supernatural and divine is elevated, but everybody has the gift. I'm just here to help everybody remember that light within themselves to help you become your own inner guru and tap your inner glow. Okay. So that was the first message. The second message that I was getting for this week is that your higher soul, 
your soul is omniscient, vast, magnificent, right? And it's trying to reach you. So I was getting this really, my, my guides are really funny too. They give me these funny visions and then I just laugh, but it is, it's, so your higher soul is sending you, they're trying to, it's trying to send you this magical sort of beach ball and but you're not catching it like you've been sort of moving around and like in circles and you're not in a place where you've been able to receive so I saw this person on the beach like not like the, the like missing the catch of this magical beach ball from from their higher soul like and but then all of a sudden this person turns and is able to catch it catch the magic receive the guidance receive the energy from the higher soul so this is another message about you pausing getting centered and and listening to and receiving an epiphany because i feel like the magic ball represents an epiphany like a divine flash of insight where something you've been waiting for trying to figure out the minute you drop in and ask Dear God, dear Holy Spirit, my angels, reveal to me what it is I need to know. Reveal to me what it is I need to learn. Reveal, 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 and so it is. I'm open, ready, and willing to receive your divine guidance. Thank you. We don't have to petition prayer to God and the angels a million times. Once we ask, then we need to be open to receiving, okay? Um, I also was getting to that a feeling, and this is for somebody out there, there's been a feeling that you've had, a gut instinct that you've had on something that is about to be validated. So you're, there's, you're going to be saying this week, I knew that, I knew that was coming. And it's a, it's a, it's a validation message about your own intuition. And oftentimes, you know, how many times have you gone through life where something happened and you went, yeah, I knew that. But you, you chalked it up as like, whatever, nothing before. So you're getting used to listening to those, those, that intuitive insight that is yours, that is coming from your higher soul. So I do feel there's going to be some kind of validation coming in for someone where you go, yeah, I knew that. The other thing, um, I was getting a lot of paperwork for someone there. So there's and but it has to do with a contract or an offer and, and it, Honestly, this feels like it's going both ways. So I feel like, again, like there are a lot of people watching this video. There's, there's, there's an offer coming in that creates a new beginning, but there's also something releasing. So I actually feel in this message around contracts and offers, it definitely has to do with, uh, letting something go. Like, you know, so you could be, you know, you could get a new job offer and then you're letting a, another job go. It's like, there's this, what you release, the door opens. But if the releasing comes first before the offer, don't, this is another validation message for you that there's an offer coming in. So I feel like it's, it's like two sides of the same coin. I keep feeling like there's something releasing, but there's something coming to replace it and it's better. So it's like when one door closes, another one opens. So if the door closes first before you got the offer, trust, trust, trust. There's something coming and I feel like it's coming right off the hop of that other door closing. Okay, so don't panic, don't worry. Open, ready and willing to receive for your highest good. The universe has your back, okay? Um, I was also getting, I'm just looking at my notes here because I was meditating before. I was feeling a lot of anxiety in the gut. I was literally getting like an anxiety pain as I was in meditation, as I was dropping in and asking, what is it that the collective needs to hear this week? I was definitely getting this anxiety. So remember, so somebody out there who's been having some anxiety, drop in with some breath work. You know, when we just pause, take a deep breath, release the breath, you feel better. Also, too, when we engage with the frequency and the energy of anxiety and worry, it amplifies the energy and it and it create it and it grows and grows and grows. So what we focus on grows. I'm not saying ignore the feeling, but do your best to manage it. I find that breath breath, my like breath work is a really good way to manage anxiety because it helps you 
move the energy out because we are energetic beings we're here in human form but we've all forgotten that we're these spiritual magnificent beings and the breath moves energy okay so you want to remember to manage your anxiety and also i was getting don't forget to do things that are playful that's also a really powerful way to manage stress anxiety and all those those low lower frequencies that come in and creep up on us so doing things that are playful that make you feel playful like this morning i was out in the park and i was playing with my dog i was throwing the ball she was catching it bringing it back and i was throwing it but it was fun you know we, we were just having this playful like playful playful time this morning it was really like that's what i'm talking about playful energy that lifts your spirit up here she comes now <laughs> yeah I'm talking about you oh. so you know playful energy do things that make you playful and connecting with that breath because I but because I, I want to reassure you that um, the anxiety is it's an epidemic it truly is an epidemic dropping in with meditation I'm gonna be putting on um, some more meditations on on the channel as well so look out for those okay um, was that it on my notes yeah i think that was it on my notes all right let's look at some animal spirit cards since we were talking about my little puppy there now she's sleeping <laughs> let's see spirit guides great angels what else do we need to hear for this week for our highest and greatest good highest timeline of success happiness and joy what do we need to hear okay wow three of them just came out interesting use your mind wisely so i did start the reading the the message today by saying that your higher wisdom your holy guidance will always leave you feeling empowered it will never leave you feeling disempowered so this is just validating what i was talking about connecting into the higher mind means dropping in connecting and don't be afraid to ask my higher soul, please awaken within me now. Guide me unto my highest and greatest good. And so it is. Speak as if you would be speaking to your best girlfriend. Because, you know, we can all be our own worst enemy and, like, and our best friend, right? So you've got to get into the energy of the higher mind because the higher mind is infinite love. Infinite love. Dream the world into being. When we use our higher mind when we connect with our higher wisdom we're tapping into the spiritual data what's already existing for our path forward for our highest timeline of success etc so when we take time throughout the day to just pause and envision what it is we would like to manifest where it is we want to go we can spend that time being creative with our minds kind of like daydreaming but use it in a positive way because what we focus on grows. So get out of that anxiety, drop in with your mind and just visualize what it is you want to manifest that week, this week because I feel like things are coming into fruition. Freedom is yours. So remember, you, 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 we get to choose because we have free will where we're going with our minds and where we're not going with our minds, right? So you want to choose to be in the energy of freedom with your mind. So choose choose the pathway from that cosmic flow of infinite intelligence and let it flow through you. Detach from stress, anxiety, and worry. Oh, and I was just saying, act. I was just literally saying like env envision what you want and like feel it, close your eyes and feel it. And this is the act as if we're the, the agents of our own creation. We're co-creating with the universe at all times. The more we get used to this, the more we're going to recognize the divine synchronicities. And a rebirth is assured. A rebirth is assured. And I was saying earlier in the reading that um, I felt like for some of you, there is something releasing, but something coming right off the hop of the releasing. Okay, so whatever that means. But this is also you stepping into that higher version of yourself and letting go of the anxiety letting go of the worry letting go of the doubt and stepping into the energy of peace the energy of oneness the energy of your soul that's where your superpower lies that's where the energy those are that's where all of the answers truly lie okay so a rebirth is assured and i think i think i will make that the title of this video <laughs> let us just pause i just looked at the timer 1444 yay uh 
let's just rest in the energy. Let us take a deep breath. In prayer, we say thank you. Thank you, angels. Thank you, God. Thank you, universe. For this beautiful day, for this beautiful week, I am open, ready, and willing to receive amazing magnificence as I am amazing magnificence, attracting the divine, manifesting the divine into reality for my highest good. And so it is. Use me. Thank you. Cindy, sorry. <laughs> How many times I hit that microphone? I'm not sure. We'll see in the sound, but. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Please look out for regular videos. I'm back on track. Really appreciate your patience and support. Please don't forget to click like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. Completely free for you. And I'm so happy to be back and supporting all of you with the divine energy of the glow. And so it is. Namaste. Take care. Bye-bye.